Learning objectives include how disease get transmitted and what are various vehicles of infection. Now, diseases could be transmitted by contact and there are three ways that the contact, the organism could make a direct contact like a person to person which is a physical contact and a very good example is influenza. When somebody is suffering from this influenza or flu and when she sneezes or he sneezes uh, spreads those, those um, viruses to the nearby person. Or the organism could be contacted through indirect means like fomites. This word fomite is very interesting. It includes any non-living object. Examples are like towel, like beddings, like furniture, pen, laptops, anything that you share with somebody and if that somebody is infected, you will get the infection too. Or when somebody sneezes, the organisms can assume or can be spread by mucus droplets. Um, some people, when they talk, this, they, they spit, uh, you know, those droplets. And those droplets, if the person is harboring or having that infectious organism in the oral cavity or, this, or the, uh, the mouth, he or she would transmit that infection through those teeny drops or droplets. A second way is a vehicle transmission. Here, transmission is by a medium, like we see waterborne diseases, like hepatitis is a very good example, waterborne diseases. Foodborne diseases, there are, these diseases are um, present in the food that we eat. They may be present in the air, and the blood, or body secretions. The third way of uh, transmission of disease is through vectors. Vectors basically are insects mostly, like flies, like ticks. And organisms can be spread mechanically. That means this is a passive transmission. That they, these insects basically carry the organism on their body. And they just simply, they are means of transmission from one place to the other. And this is called a passive uh, transmission. There are vectors that we call biological vectors. They can inject the organisms in the body. When a mosquito feeds on a human or animal, it basically actively um, tr is transmitting the disease or infection to the body. Another definition that we must know is nosocomial infections. Nosocomial infections also are important. It's a vehicle, although those vehicles would be either um, mostly people or maybe fomites like inanimate objects in the hospital. Nosocomial infections are infections that we acquire from the hospitals, especially those patients that are gone there for another treatment, like a heart patient has gone there for a treatment, but can have infections, can pick up infections through those catheters, used syringes, or through those nurses and doctors. These are called nosocomial infections. So in summary, we had various means of transmission of diseases in this lecture.